A few months ago, Hungry Jacks revolutionized the cold drink game by introducing the world to bursties. If you don't know what bursties are, they're these kind of little popping pearl tapioca things that they put inside their frozen drinks that burst in your mouth, releasing this sweet, sweet juice. They were very popular, especially with kids that hang out at railway stations. That's why some people called them Eche Caviar. Now, Hungry Jacks are back with a brand new, sophisticated version of these popping candy sort of things. They are called the Brown Sugar Popping Pearls, and they are intended for their iced coffee range. So I'm down at Hungry Jacks today, checking out two things. First of all, their iced coffee, and also their Brown Sugar Popping Pearls. Let's check them out. Alrighty, so I got myself the Hungry Jack's iced coffee. Here it is. This is uh, what it looks like. It looks every bit like a normal iced coffee, but of course I got the popping pearls down the bottom there. The brown sugar popping pearls. Um, now this comes with cream automatically on top. I probably wouldn't have asked it because cream does upset my tummy just a little bit but anyway I'll uh, I'll give it a go sorry just before I get stuck into it I will let you know this was five dollars not bad with the addition of no hang on it was 450 it was 450 with the addition of popping pearls it came to 550 it's a dollar for the popping pearls is it worth it I don't know I'm about to find out let's see first of all what the iced coffee's like and then let's see if it is improved with the brown sugar Popping pearls. Let's give it a go. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm not a tradie. I, I do mow the lawn occasionally. That's about as close as I get to tradie behavior. So I don't know if this would be popular with tradies. I can't comment on that. But uh, as someone who drinks coffee a lot, this is not brilliant. This is like boss coffee level. So it's not bad. It definitely tastes like coffee. I think it's brutal, right? But um, yeah, I don't know. It's not, it's not brilliant. But yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not an iced coffee person. Anyway, as you can see, the brown sugar popping pearls are down the bottom there, so let's see if they're any good. All right, definitely got a few in that one. Wow, hmm, actually, hmm, they're quite good. That's like a, that's like an iced tea sort of aspect to the iced coffee. That's actually a really delicate brown sugar flavor. That's nice. I think they're a bit smaller than the regular Hungry Jack's Bursties. What I can do to investigate further, I did get them separately, a separate cup of the brown sugar popping pearls. So let's have a look. Here they are there, just by themselves. Now, are they any good by themselves? These are a very strong flavor. And um, I have to admit, these do look quite good on the ad. And they do look quite good there. They really do strongly resemble Ikura Salmon Row. If you've ever been to a uh, sushi restaurant, you can normally get this on top of some rice and seaweed. Well, something that looks a lot like this on rice and seaweed, but um, definitely tastes a bit different. Anyway, let's just give it a go. The raw brown sugar popping pearls. Mmm. That is actually really not bad. That was not bad. This was a dollar to get this by itself. Like, yeah, you can just add these for a dollar to any iced drink. I'm sure they would let you add it to Coke or like a frozen Fanta. It's Hungry Jacks. They let you do what you want. They don't care. It's really not as strong a brown sugar taste as I was expecting. It is definitely brown sugar, but it's like they've added white sugar to it or something. It's like a sweetened sort of brown sugar. It's kind of interesting, like weird that they add sugar to sugar, but I, I don't think that's 100% brown sugar. It definitely tastes like they've added some more sugar to that. Interesting. It definitely improves this iced coffee. This iced coffee is not brilliant to start with, but with the addition of the brown sugar popping pearls, it's pretty good. Yeah, really not bad. For 550, well, this is a medium. Like from Starbucks or something, this would be a bit more than 550, I think. So the price is not bad. It is not bad. Jack's Cafe, I guess, for uh, the price point is not too 
bad. So well done to Hungry Jacks there. Yeah, I'm gonna say that is a worthy addition to the Hungry Jacks menu, a worthy addition and a novel addition. I have been getting stuck in Hungry Jacks lately for copying other people's stuff. Sure, you could say they stole this from uh, the bubble tea places, but it is it is fairly unique, I think, to add it into a coffee. So, well done, Hungry Jacks. Keep it up, keep up the great work. It's pretty warm now. I'll, uh, I'll leave it there. Um, I'm just gonna go home now, listen to one of my favorite Red Hot Chili Pepper albums, Brown Sugar Sex Magic. Gonna put that on on the way home. So have a great day. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a comment and to subscribe. Cheers.